Hi everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a Mickey Mouse and Friends cupcake. Since I don't have a cupcake in my hand, I'm gonna use this dummy um, just for you guys to understand. This was a request cake, uh, cupcake topper, so I don't know if anybody has this design. So if you know who designed or if it was just the idea that they passed to me, just let me know. I will totally give the reference down below. Um, I'm just making circles just to put on the top, but you can definitely use just the toppers on the top of a cupcake if you prefer. But some people like to have the base on the uh, no, fondant too. So I'm just going to make a little ball with white and go up and down, up and down, just one side to do like a teardrop shape. And then we're going to flatten out a little bit. So you push between your hands like that just to be sure that it's all on the same thickness and with a little scissor I'm gonna cut right there just for you guys to know, to know what I'm doing and I don't know what happened to the picture that I had the, all the time so you guys gonna see the toppers through the video I'm sorry about that I'm just cutting and making his thumb and now I'm gonna mark the two the other fingers Mickey has just four fingers four yeah um, so I'm just marking the other three you can make it that is that the size you want. I made two circles, the black and the white, because it's gonna depend which one's gonna show more. She said and she was making everything in the top of the circles and she wanted so she told me a little what she wanted. So I don't know um if what you guys prefer. I would definitely do the toppers without the circles on the top of the cupcake, just an icing. But um as if it was requested to me, I'm trying to to help. So I'm just cutting the excess, make a little ball flat and putting right there and he make his hands done. It's easy, simple, you can make a bunch, make all the balls and flatten out all together. Um, so it's an easy cupcake topper to make. And I'm just marking just for the charm of it, those little gloves marks that he has. So you can put in a cupcake straight or you can put in a white on a black. I would use the black for this color since the glove is already white. So what she's gonna do, or you're gonna do if you're making it, you put it on the top of your cupcake, the circle or straight to the cupcake and you just place it on the top. And you can make a dozen very fast if you wanna make it. Um, the white too, just in case if you wanna see. But I guess it's gonna disappear a little right there. So I would definitely use a different color um, if it's for mini, you can use a pink underneath um, and just the glow because Minnie and Mickey, they have the same hands. So with the blue now, um, I'm going to ask, I'm making for Pluto. She asked Mickey, Minnie, Pluto and Donald. So I'm going to make with blue so I can match Pluto and Donald because Donald's head, hat is blue. To don't have the cupcakes going all over the collar, so you guys don't need to buy a bunch of collars, a bunch, you know, um, material. So I'm trying to match them, so you don't need to get a bunch of different materials. I just said that, right? Sorry. <laughs> so I just make a ball, I flat it, and I'm with a tool or a finger or anything, you're just gonna flat in the middle. I'm just making um, Pluto's plate, I guess. A dish a bowl <laughs> um, and now with the white I'm just gonna make a little uh, roll the now a little and roll in the middle back and forth to make the middle be a little thinner than that ends we're gonna make his little ball bone I'm having issues to talk I haven't recorded a video for a while so you know hang with me guys um here we go I'm just marking both sides it really easy she asked for an easy video so I'm trying to make as easy as possible less material less colors you know is as possible you can even write if you have the edible pen write his name there if you don't have it don't you know don't go crazy just put it there so for Pluto you can use the Y one because it has the Y on the top but you can pick whatever you want to do or you can even write the name on the white. Um, I don't know why she's doing the circles as a base, but I would put it, as I said, straight to on the icing. 
Um, and don't forget, if you drink that for kids to eat, you use fondant, not gum paste, because gum paste is going to get very hard. So for Donna, we're going to just make a ball. And almost in the middle, we're going to go up and down, up and down to mark his head. Easy to, easy peasy. You guys can make it this very fast. And with the black, I'm just going to make that little bottom part of his head. So you're going to row flat and mark. It's kind of, you can make almost all the cake, uh, cupcake toppers without a tool. If you don't have it, just get it like a flat knife or something like that. Uh, just to make some marks but or a two peak anything just if you're just gonna make for one party and you don't make that all the time or you're not gonna make anymore don't spend your money and um just for the details i'm making a little tiny little bit of a piece of gum paste and i'm gonna cut in the middle like if it was a tongue on a snake you know just to make the little bow because he had this split and bow and I'm just gonna place right there. And donuts done. See if you can put it. I'll just because my fake cupcake is not iced, so it looks weird. But you can put it definitely in the black or in the white, as much as you want. Um, or you can even put a stick, like a toothpick or something, and just stick on the cupcake as well if you want to. And now let's make the next one. With the black, I'm just making a little ball and flat on the bottom. Just to, don't be, a, it's not totally round, it's flat on the bottom. So you can stand on your cupcake. And now we're gonna make two smaller balls. So I always say get the balls together so you know that it's the same amount of uh, gum paste or fondant or cold porcelain, whatever you're molding, because my videos is not just for edible or no edible, you can mold anything. You can even get the same steps and make, um, I don't know, a charm bracelet if you're using Fimo or um, the polymer clay. So you can do anything. And just flat the little two balls that you make and place right there. If your fondant or whatever you're doing is not sticking, you use glue, edible glue, water, whatever you need for your material. And that's Mickey. Um, you can place on the white, you can place on the black, you can place whatever. Just to make mini, I'm making a little tiny ball um, so you can place on the top of the head or you can also make just the ball. So you're gonna roll two balls and go up and, up and down, up and down to make a teardrop shape and you flat that out. Looks like a tear. And you do it again. I'm just cutting the um, the ends right there, and you put one on the top and the other, so you know then they are in the same um, size. Doesn't look mine, but they are. <laughs> I don't know why. I think one is a little wider than the other one, and a little ball. So now I'm fixing because I thought that they were not fixed, and I'm marking the metal part and some details for fabric just for fun you can just make simple if you don't have the tools or don't have the time and you're just gonna put them together around the ball so we just gonna put the ball in the middle and the other side right there and you have your bow that's a simple bow bows can be very complicated but this is very cute and you just put it right there just make a little smaller than I make because I made a little bigger so you guys could see the details but I make a little smaller so it fits better the head and now I'm just gonna make um, a little bigger um, bow standing kind of on the cupcake if you just want to put the bow as a cupcake topper so we're gonna make two your dear drops but you're not gonna flatten out you're gonna place them in your table and then you're gonna place a little piece right there in the middle you don't want them flat because you're gonna curve the marks and the sides not in the top so you have like a 3d kind of bow if that makes any sense because it's gonna stand by itself um it's super easy i, I hope you guys like it please um subscribe if you don't and i talk to you next video thank you so much bye